All righty. Well, hey, good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Monterey Bay Aquarium here live on YouTube. My name is Patrick. I work at the aquarium here in social media. Hello to everyone joining us on the replay. Hello if you are joining us live right now. We are here off the back deck of the aquarium. It's a beautiful day here in the neighborhood, but as you can see, we've got quite the ocean motion here happening right off of our deck. Normally, this zone you see here in front of me is what we call our great tide pool right in here, but it is not a tide pool today. It is the physical extension of the Monterey Bay. We are basically the Monterey Bay Aquarium Peninsula right now. If you were to swim from here, you'd go straight out to sea over to Hopkins Marine Station or directly below our feet here, you would be heading along Cannery Row over to the breakwater wall. We are here at the King Tides, which happened to coincide with Martin Luther King Jr. Day. So happy MLK Day to you folks out there. Uh, but today the King Tides, uh, nothing to do with Mr. King has, Dr. King has everything to do here with the ocean tides lining up with, uh, with what's known as a spring tide. And then we have the extra little pole of the moon because it's the closest that it is to the planet while also pulling in the same direction as the sun on our ocean. You can see there whoa, breaking right up here along the seawall. So the king tides happen when, again, the sun and the moon are pulling on the ocean in ways where their gravitational forces are added together. And it's happening when the moon is the closest that it is to the earth. So you heard about the blood moon that happened, just how close that moon is. Well, that pull from the moon's gravity on our oceans is what's largely responsible for the variation of our tides. And the sun also pulls on the ocean as well. So when you have the sun and the moon pulling on the ocean at 90 degree angles, essentially canceling each other out, you have what are known as the neap tides. And then when the sun and the moon are working together, you have what's known as the spring tides. And the king tides happen with a little bit of extra pull from the moon when it is at its closest to the planet there. Now the tides are basically a global wave that moves around the planet. And here in Monterey, we have two high tides and two low tides every day. We have a high high and a high low and a low low and a low high. And this is the high high tide for today, 6.7 feet above the mean tide level. So zero is 6.7 feet deep this way. And then it goes negative from there. Whereas 6.7 feet right now above that means that we are basically here almost submerged uh, at our foundation here of the aquarium. Now, What's important to note about the king tides is that it's a really good visual representation of the change of the ocean level due to sea level rise happening because of climate change. So we often talk about climate change in terms of weather disruptions, things happening, bigger storms on the planet, uh, but the ocean is also affected by climate change in a big way. In particular, it absorbs a lot of the heat energy from human industry. It's already absorbed a majority of it. And because of that, the ocean is thermally expanding, same as if you were to have frozen water and then you heat that up. If you get it to a boil, it's going to expand in volume. That thermal expansion is one of the big ways that you have rising sea levels around the world. It's not just adding water from melting ice that's on land, like ice that might be in Antarctica or on the Greenland ice sheet. That is adding water, but a big way that the thermal expansion occurs, or excuse me, that sea level rise occurs is because of that thermal expansion there. Just the heating up of the ocean, the rise of a millimeter here added up over the size of the ocean. And so these king tides are a really good visual representation of where that sea level rise is going here along our coast. Imagine if the ocean was 6.7 feet higher on average, this was the zero tide, and then it goes up 6.7 feet from here at the king tides. And then you would basically have our whole theater here covered in water. And uh, into the future, you end up having the Monterey Bay Aquarium and snorkeling experience going through our exhibit halls. We hand you a pair of flippers and a wetsuit to go and explore. So this is a, a really good visualization of that change that happens around the planet. Happens incrementally, but uh, in you know 100 years or so, you'll see that all around the world, the tides will be just a little bit higher 
than they are now. And so this is a really good representation of that sea level rise that is gonna happen along the coast. You can see where that wave is splashing. Imagine if that was the zero tide level and they went up and down from there. So right now, again, our great tide pool, not a part, uh, not a tide pool, it's a physical part of the ocean. And later on today, we're gonna to head over to California State Parks over at Asilomar State Beach. We're gonna take a look at a negative 1.6 foot high tide and go tide pooling right out there. We'll be able to see just how drastic that changes. Today, the tides are varying over eight feet up and down. So we're very glad we're not running any of our underwater explorers today here in this whirlpool of a great tide pool. And that's pretty much all we wanted to share with you. We got the king tides today. Again, the biggest tides of the year when the sun and moon are pulling together when the moon is the closest to the planet pulling on our ocean. And it's a good visual representation of sea level rise due to climate change occurring around the planet. And uh, you can see that the Monterey Bay Aquarium is certainly thinking about that sea level rise, that climate change, because we are directly affected by that. And uh, today we're the Monterey Bay Aquarium and Peninsula at the moment. And with that, everyone, thank you so much for following us here live on YouTube. My name is Patrick again, work at the Aquarium and Social Media. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being a follower of the Aquarium on all things social media. And uh, we will see you again soon, live from the Monterey Bay this afternoon, talking to our friends at California State Parks, looking at those animals in the tide pools. We'll see what the ocean uncovers today. Thanks so much, everyone, and have a fantastic rest of your day wherever you are. See you again soon.